Welcome back. About five Texans die every day from fentanyl poisoning. Uh, the drug recently taking the lives of several students in the Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD. But a brand new state law could actually help in this crisis. It actually allows a prosecutor to charge a person with murder for distributing any fentanyl laced drug. And if it leads to the victim's death, well, they could go to court. So joining us now is the Dr. Christopher Litchfield here from Gallus Medical Detox Center. Dr. Litchfield, thank you so much for joining us this morning, bright and early here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank of you for having course. me. Of um, course. Let's talk about that new law that we mentioned. Why is it important for Texas to actually acknowledge this public health crisis? Absolutely. Uh, this crisis is something that, um, as we've seen from recent reports from the CDC, is just uh, getting bigger. It's getting, um, it's growing for sure. Uh, every day, Americans are dying from uh, overdose, mm -hmm. and uh, what we've seen in the past few years is that is increasing, unfortunately. And so it's definitely a very big issue. What do you think is the reason f for the increase? So one thing that we do know that's contributing to the increased deaths mm -hmm. is uh, this new uh, resurgence of prescription drugs that are counterfeit, the counterfeit pills that we're seeing now these days. Uh, the drug cartel, the, the criminal uh, cartels are creating these pills to look exactly like prescription drugs. Mm. They may look like an oxycodone, they may look like a Xanax, they may look like a hydrocodone. Or candy. Absolutely. They may look like gummies or candies yeah. in mm -hmm. fact. And so this is very dangerous indeed. Um, many patients who may be prescribed these uh, medications uh, may have to go up on them due to tolerance or dependence. Mm -hmm. And then when they find they're not getting enough, they may go to buying them off the street yeah. or buy them from a, an acquaintance. And what they don't realize is that when you do that, you don't know where that medication came from. It could be one of these counterfeit fake pills. And uh, what we're seeing is that most of these counterfeit pills that are involved in opiate uh, deaths have fentanyl in them. And oh, as we wow. know, fentanyl is a very potent, yeah. powerful opiate, and even a small amount can kill somebody. I know. Um, so, so tell us about Gallus uh, Detox Centers and how this crisis has actually impacted you. Yeah. So at Gallus, of course, this uh, you know we deal with this on a daily basis. Um, and we're seeing patients coming in. They thought they were taking a Xanax, for instance, mm. but then um, we test their uh, we test their toxicology and we find out there's actually fentanyl. So they were taking fentanyl. They couldn't come off of it because it's a powerful opiate, and so they had to seek a medical detox. Um, the, the signs and symptoms of someone who's uh, going through those withdrawal symptoms are, are important to recognize. Mm -hmm. uh, someone, or actually not the withdrawal, but the overdose itself, because we need to be able to recognize that during this uh, overdose awareness week. So if you, someone who's overdosing is gonna have uh, pale, clammy skin, they're not gonna be able to breathe. Um, their breathing is gonna be slowed down due to probably the opiates. Um, and they may have pinpoint pupils, but you may not be able to see their pupils because their eyes are probably going to be closed. Yeah. But this is someone who's probably in an overdose. They need a medication to reverse that. Narcan is the reversal agent, and the FDA has now approved Narcan for over-the-counter use. Mm -hmm. um, coming up next week, you'll be able to buy that over-the-counter. It's also naloxone is the generic wow. name. I didn't Another know name that. Another name is Revive. It's a new brand name. It's coming out next week. You can buy it over-the-counter. So this is going to be a very important tool for people to use, to have handy nearby if they're in one of these high risk categories to have an overdose. And we know the patients in those high risk categories are gonna be patients under the age of 35, mm. Hispanics as well, um, but also people who use prescription pain medications or prescription uh, anxiety medications. Um, if they combine those two, they're also at a higher risk for overdose. So these are the populations that may wanna go ahead and have some of that Narcan on standby. It's a spray. You can spray it in somebody's nose if they're unconscious, mm -hmm. and it will help reverse that opiate, which is most likely going to be fentanyl these days. And every second counts. So and every it's over the counter counts. as well? Absolutely. Wow. It's over the counter now. So at Gallus, what we do, Gallus uh, Medical Detox, is uh, we use evidence-based proprietary mm -hmm. protocols to help guide patients smoothly through their withdrawal process. Withdrawal from opiates or alcohol or even benzodiazepines can be a very painful and very uncomfortable uh, experience. And this is what leads many patients to just avoid that altogether and keep using despite how much they know this is harming them. Mm. Dr. Litchfield, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning and, and sharing some insight and uh, gosh, all the help work that you're doing here in our community as well. Thank you. Absolutely.